Hey, hey, lovely sisters! It's your girl Abaya, back with another video. Thank you for tuning back again today. And if you're new here, hey girl, you're most welcome to the family. In today's video, I'm going to be detangling my hair using flaxy gel for the first time. It's been six or seven weeks or so since I last washed my hair. I actually think it is more than six weeks. I think it's more like eight weeks. Please don't ask me why. Let's just focus on this video, okay? So if you want to see how my hair reacts to the flaxy gel, then stay tuned. So now without any further ado, let's dive right into this video. So first of all, of course, I need to take out the beads and accessories from my hair before I can start the detangling process. So that's what I'm doing right now. My hair has actually been in this style, in this particular style for about two weeks or so but the last time i washed my hair that was like between six and eight weeks i can't really remember during that time i was quite busy with school and everything and there was a lot of activities going on and i was wearing my hair out a lot during that time and eventually my hair was so tangled up and i put it in this towel because i wasn't ready to wash my hair yet because i didn't have the time to so that's why my hair is like this this is the most tangled my hair has been in a long, long time. So the benefits of flaxy gel is that it helps to grow your hair faster and longer, it nourishes your hair's follicles, it adds moisture to your scalp, it can prevent hair loss and it provides elasticity and strengthens your hair. The minerals and vitamins contained in flaxseed are vitamin E, vitamin B1, magnesium, selenium, manganese, phosphorus, copper and omega-3 fatty acids. I pour the flaxseed in boiling water and I let it boil. I didn't really measure anything, I just gauged it and poured and at the end the first batch was really thick so later I had to thin it out but I will realize that later as I detangled my hair. So that's how it looks like when it's all strained. As you can see like I said previously, the first batch was a really thick one, so it went on quite thick on my hair. I like the way it felt in my hair. It felt different compared to the okra. I feel like the okra is more moisturizing and the flaxseed gel is more strengthening. Once I was done, my hair felt quite as if I had a protein treat, as if I had done a protein treatment, like a light protein treatment. It didn't feel extremely hard or anything, but I could tell that my hair felt strengthened. Like I could, once I applied it and it stayed in my hair for a while, as I was detangling, I felt the strengthening factor from the flaxseed gel, if that makes sense. So I would lightly finger detangle my hair. I didn't really show everything because otherwise this video would be too long. I break my hair in smaller sections so that it was easier to comb through. But before I proceeded with the comb, I tried to pull out as much of the shed hair that I could. When I started, it wasn't really gliding as easily because I think I didn't add enough of the gel. Plus, like I said, the gel was too thick. So later in other sections where I had diluted the mixture, I felt it was more, it was more slippery and my comb was gliding through much easier. But in the beginning, it wasn't really gliding through. And also the section was still too thick. So 
so I broke the section down even smaller so that it was easier for me to work with it and then once I broke the sections down smaller and I was able to pull out some of the shed hair it was much easier for my comb to glide through but whenever I encountered some resistance when combing I would stop and pull that section apart and make it easy for my comb to get through so that I don't cause unnecessary breakage So I'll repeat the same steps for the rest of my hair. I don't know, maybe I'll do another video where I can really compare the okra and the flaxy gel side by side. Like, I would detangle one side of my hair with the flaxseed and one side of my hair with the okra to really see the difference in real time if you are interested in that video leave a comment so that i would know that you are interested in that kind of video It was on this side of my hair that the gel was much thinner. I thinned out the gel. Then I felt my comb was gliding through much easier. It didn't take me as long to detangle a section like in the beginning. So yes, I think the thickness of the gel also played a role. But like I said, I'm still going to make a, a comparison video if you are interested. This is my victory dance, yay, 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 finally done, finally done, yay, yay, yay. So this is my hair all done, all done, all done. And it's looking quite juicy, 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 but I can tell off the bat that it's not as shiny as it was when I used okra to detangle my hair. So that's the amount of shedding that I accumulated. 
after about six to eight weeks of not detangling or washing my hair so guys i've come to the end of this video thank you so so, so much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified when my next video comes up i love you guys so 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 much see you again in my next video stay blessed stay healthy and stay safe it is your girl bye 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 bye, -bye. Mm -hmm.